say hello to the video life Meet myself on the action replay In this video, we will be demonstrating the correct way to execute an overarm throw. This will be completed through the use of a skill breakdown and also with the inclusion of a number of training strategies and drills to assist in improving performance and technique. Repeat. The act of completing an overarm throw is a discrete, closed, gross motor skill and has application in both sporting and recreational settings. There are three main phases involved when completing an overarm throw. These include the preparation, execution, and follow through phase. During the preparation phase, the thrower stands side onto the target or in the direction that they wish to throw the object. The non throwing arm is pointed in the direction or at the target. The throwing arm is cocked back with the elbow at around 90 degrees and above the shoulder. During the execution phase, the trunk is rotated through and positioned towards the target. The shoulders are then rotated through with the elbow being extended and the wrist flexing to generate power through the throw. During the follow through phase, the throwing arm is brought down to the opposite side of the body. The back leg then follows through, finishing up in the direction of the target. This is done so to ensure maximum momentum is generated throughout the entirety of the throw. All three of these phases are equally as important in ensuring optimum distance, speed and accuracy throughout the throw. Poor performance of the overarm throw can be classified as the elbow being lower than the shoulder during preparation, the arm coming through side on with little to no trunk rotation, little to no follow through during execution. This will result in reductions in accuracy, power and the potential risk of injury. The first training drill incorporates segmented practice where the participant completes each phase of the movement individually multiple times without an object actually being thrown. This eliminates the participant's focus on the end goal of hitting a target or throwing a distance and magnifies all their focus on performing each component of the skill well to improve the overall performance. The next drill incorporates all aspects of the skill to be completed over and over again to practice a combination of all phases of the movement in sequential order. The initial stage of this is to be completed without an object being thrown so that all focus is on the movement, not the outcome. Prior to the completion of this part of the drill, an object can then be introduced to allow the participant to be provided with visual feedback on their performance. Drill number six involves the inclusion of a secondary person to receive the throw at a distance of 10 meters and return the ball to the thrower. This is to be completed repeatedly to ensure that practice of the skill is completed in a high volume and so that the verbal, verbal cues and feedback can be provided by the secondary person. This is done so to ensure that the skill is completed correctly and to a constant high standard. The next drill to be completed is a pick up and throw while on the move. The participant starts 15 meters from the target 
The ball is then rolled out to them. They receive the ball and then throw it at a target 10 metres away. With the addition of a secondary movement, positive transfer can be fostered to further improve the quality of the skill. The addition of a stationary target allows performance to be measured quantitatively and also visual feedback to be provided. Performance is measured by whether or not the ball makes contact with the target. The final drill to be completed is a run, pick up and throw drill. The participant will start next to the target, run to the ball 15 metres away, turn and throw at the target at a distance of 10 metres. The addition of a third movement further promotes the positive transfer of learning in that the transfer of previous skills acquired in the past drills can be applied to this one. The end result of this drill is to be measured by whether or not the target was successfully struck, thus providing visual feedback. A retention test is to be completed at the completion of weeks two, four, and then again one week after the completion of the program. This is done to assess the progression of the participant's improvement. The test is then completed by the participant standing 10 metres away from a stationary target and throwing an object at it. The improvement is measured by the amount of successful throws they make that strike the target. A total of 20 throws are to be made at maximum velocity. Hope I get there right on time.